The new Volkswagen Tiguan has been supersized in just about every way. For one, it's bigger than the car it replaces, being both longer and wider than its predecessor, and that means more space for luggage and passengers. It arrives with a bigger set of safety technology and in-car features too, but the thing that's grown the most is the pressure on its success. This new car has been eight years in the making, and that is a lifetime in the world of cars, and it's left Volkswagen woefully underdone in the ever-changing suburban SUV category. So, we know that the new Tiguan is bigger, but the question is, is it better too? The new Tiguan range arrives with the choice of petrol or diesel engines, including a 1.4 litre entry level petrol, which is joined at launch by a mid-strength 2 litre petrol. The top line 162 kilowatt 2 litre petrol, borrowed from the GTI hot hatch, won't arrive until early next year. In the diesels, there's just the one 2 litre power plant on offer, but it's tuned to deliver more or less power, depending on your budget. The Tiguan also arrives with three distinct trim levels, the entry level trend line, the mid-range comfort line and the top spec high line and there's a huge amount of standard safety kit right across the range. All Tiguans arrive with AEB, lane assist, fatigue detection, a rear view camera and park assist and if you add to that seven airbags the Tiguan offers among the most comprehensive standard safety packages available. The new exterior dimensions are all about increasing interior space which is one of the main complaints about the outgoing car. As a result, the wheelbase has grown by 76 millimeters, while the width has grown by 30 millimeters. And you can feel those changes here in the back seat, where there's plenty of space for second row passengers. Plus, the back seat slides on these rails, so you can maximize space in the boot too. The Comfort Line and High Line trim levels both get four cup holders, two in the pull down divider, and another one in each of these seat back tables. The Trend Line, however, has to make do with the door pockets. All three trim levels get two ISOFIX attachment points, one in each window seat here in the back. There's heaps of space back here too. Boot size has grown from 395 litres on the outgoing car to 615 litres, and that's with the rear seats up, helped by the fact you're able to slide them forward. Drop the rear seats though, and that number grows to 1,655 litres. Now I know that's a lot of numbers, but the point is there is a ton of space back here for groceries, sporting equipment, whatever you might need to carry. The Tiguan is the first VW Group SUV to be built using the Golf's MQB platform and the result is an SUV that really feels a lot like you're driving a bigger Golf. It's refined regardless of whether you're driving the petrol or the diesel and the suspension absorbs all but the harshest of bumps and there's a real quietness to the cabin too. None of the engines currently available offer all that much outright performance, though that will improve with the top spec petrol next year, but all models feel nicely composed, even on the more challenging roads. So as usual with Volkswagen, you can mix and match your engine and trim level too. So I'm in the Comfort line, which is the mid-spec car, but it gets the entry-level 110 TSI engine. Now it's not the most powerful engine in the range, but there is adequate power there to get you moving. The only downside is there's a huge amount of turbo lag, so it can be a bit jerky when you set off. You plant your foot and there's a couple of seconds of nothing before everything arrives all at once. You do get used to it though, and you just have to adjust your driving style accordingly. Now I haven't been driving this car very long, but I've got to say on first impressions it feels quite dynamic. The suspension sits flat through corners and the steering feels really natural and well weighted. In fact, it kind of feels like you're just driving a bigger Golf, which is a pretty good compliment to play in SUV. It's been a long time between drinks for the new Tiguan, but on first impressions this one's been worth the wait. Not just bigger, but better equipped and keenly priced, it puts Volkswagen back into the SUV game. To read the full review, click here, and don't forget to subscribe to stay on top of all our latest videos. Ooh.